Hey everyone, it's CR7 here, and welcome to the finale of CR7's 12 Days of Diecast. Now, we've gotten some pretty cool diecast along these uh, 12 days, including this Cole Custer Xfinity Series diecast, and one of the less odder ones, this factory error uh, Haley Deegan truck with a next-gen rim instead of a normal one. The camera can zoom in. Here it is. One of the first lemons I've gotten. So day 12 is just right here. We're gonna open it and see what we get for the final day of CR7's 12 Days of Diecast. Whoops. And very fitting. We already see what it is. This stop ripping up. It is a, a 75th anniversary diecast to cap it off. Accidentally dropped it. Came out of the little poly bag or the little uh, plastic bag or whatever it is. Uh, if you're beeping, that's a microwave. Uh, this room is located ne uh, next to a kitchen. So here's the die cast. I put it back in here for the sake of taking it out. Put it right there. Uh, I have some 75th anniversary die casts, but they're manufacturer uh, specific. And that's that for the uh, slots. So, uh, I can already see this has a uh, windshield art on an authentic car, or I think there's a winter circle, I don't know. So let's get to the die cast review, starting with the front of the car. This is a Chevrolet, this is a Chevrolet uh, car. We have the Chevy bow tie, uh, 1948 right here. If the camera can uh, please cooperate. 1948 on uh, right here, and 2023 right here, present year. And these little yellow things down, a yellow thing down here, but not right here because it looks like it's dr uh, driven on sand. Uh, so we're gonna go to the passenger side of the car. You can see uh, sand, like sand, uh, like it's been driven on the beach. We have a 75th anniversary emblem, the NASCAR logo stretching down the car. Uh, you can see uh, the exhaust pipe right here, the, s some, the sand uh, dust uh, from the beach 1948 to the track uh, 2023, get a better look, there we go, try to get my camera zoomed in uh, more, and crappy uh, transition because my camera shot off, because I forgot to disable an alarm and it stopped the recording, it's the second time that's happened, <laughs> it happened in the previous one. So anyways, uh, I was, like I was saying, I was going to try to get my camera zoomed in, and they chose the uh, the white rims this time, not the gunmetal uh, rims like you see on uh, this car right here. So we're going to go to the back of the car. We have NASCAR's 75th anniversary, 1948-2023. You can see the sand dust there, and Chevy bow tie, the rear taillights, the little diamond logo that they used this year and the rear spoiler art and uh i would say the driver's side is the same as the passenger side but there's uh different details on this side actually uh you got a donut right here for when uh someone's wheelhouse bumps into there and whatnot uh little yellow thing to put the jack in uh the american ethanol ring uh there's some different details on the side because this looks this side looks like it's been driven on an asphalt track and this side looks like it's been driven on the beach so it's to signify the arrows i guess so we're going to go to the hood of the car uh we have nascar 75th anniversary uh the hood louvers uh the windshield uh it has a 75 and a 75th anniversary on the windshield the roof of the car, another NASCAR 75th anniversary, as well as the NASCAR logo on the rear window, and 75 on the deck lid. So we go to the bottom of the car, it's just the usual copyright stuff, and the Lionel Racing imprint. So a very fitting diecast to end uh, CR7's 12 Days of Diecast. Let's take a look at all the cars that we've gotten, starting with the Christopher Bell uh, Roval Win. And then Ross Chastain's Homestead car from 2022. Josh Berry, 
uh, AJ Allmendinger's uh, Robo win in the Xfinity Series, Chris Busher's Matt Kenseth throwback, Chase Elliott's Kelly Blue Book diecast, the Legacy Motor Club test car, uh, Kevin Harvick's Ream scheme, uh, Factory Error Haley Deegan truck, Pristine Auction truck, Air Jones diecast that I already have. Cole Custer's 2023 diecast and these NASCAR 75th anniversary car. Very fitting to cap off CR7's 12 days of diecast. So uh, I might have some more diecast to review before before the end of 2023. So make sure to stay tuned for those. Uh, and yes, uh, this officially caps off CR7's 12 days of diecast. I hope you enjoyed it. So. Subscribe for more videos and potentially some diecast reviews before the end of the year. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.